Hello, Paul here down at the river in Ballina. Continuing to read out of the the longest chapter in the Bible, Psalm 119. It's got 22 stanzas of eight verses each. And every stanza is named after an alphabet letter in the Hebrew uh, alphabet. And this one's from Gimel, the third letter from verse 17, it's about the abundant life. And David's writing this. He says, let me, your servant, walk in abundance of life, that I may always live to obey your truth. This is how he wants to live his life. Verse 18, he says, open my eyes to see the miracle wonders hidden in scripture. And there are many of them. My life on earth is so brief, so tutor me in the ways of your wisdom. And we all know how brief our life is. Paul and I are approaching the 80 and, and we just wonder where all the years went. They went so quickly. He says, verse 20, I am continually consumed by these irresistible longings these cravings to obey your every commandment. He really wants to be obedient to God's word. Verse 21, your displeasure rests with those who are arrogant, who think they know everything. You rebuke the rebellious who refuse your laws. He does that. He, 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 the, Lord, the Lord resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. It tells us in other parts of the Bible. Verse 22, don't let them mock and scorn me for obeying you. For even if the princes and my leaders choose to criticize me, I will continue to serve you and walk in your plans for my life. Verse 24, your commandments are my counsellors. Your word is my light and my delight. What a beautiful thing how he sees the word as supreme in his life. It's giving him light and it gives him delight. It's an incredible thing, the word of God, and we need to get into it, make it part of our life and be like David and store it up in our heart so that we don't sin against God. There you are, that's the abundant life from Psalm 119. You get into the Word, let the Word of God get into you. See you later. Bye for now.